Uh, Jason Daniels, you want to tell me a little bit about what uh, it is you've got here? Uh, it's a worm bin. Uh, it's basically home composting for the generation of uh, nutrients for your garden. Okay. Um, so what are we looking at here on the top? What's that white stuff? Well, uh, this is shredded up paper. Basically, um, I look at it as the ultimate way to make sure you have security after you've shredded your personal documents. You uh, feed them to your worms. Uh, they aren't going to tell anybody your personal information. So, And it basically all turns into, ultimately, this nice, thick, rich casting soil down at the bottom, which your plants absolutely love. Okay. Um, so what else is in here? I'm seeing we have cabbage, um, pancakes, lettuce, uh, coffee filters, uh, coffee grounds. Why doesn't it smell? We're looking at a, a compost pile, right? Why doesn't it smell? Um, we don't put any meat or dairy products in it, and basically the earth, the earthworms or the uh, redworms in there basically chew everything up. Uh, as long as you don't have anything that stinks, like a meat, it's not going to rot. If it doesn't rot, it, it doesn't smell. So everything composts down just fine. You can actually even keep this in your kitchen if you wanted to. Um, so ultimately, they'll eat this, and this layer you see here, uh, I have quite a bit of food in here right now, but uh, this layer will sink down as they eat it. So what's this layer? What's this line right here? You were saying something about that? This line is uh, the next bin. So as this bin fills up and passes past this line, um, eventually I'm going to take out the excess above that line, put it into my next bin, which will sit on top, and I'll fill this up, and then I'll have a full bin and a filling bin. And then when I'm ready in uh, spring, summer, whenever I want to start planting, I uh, put a bunch of food up here a couple days beforehand. The worms will work their way up into the top bin. I remove it, put it aside, take out my castings, and now I have a bin full of uh, castings, uh, baby worms, and lots of other things to put in my garden and feed my uh, vegetables. So what do you mean by castings? Do you have like a, a an iron casting facility no, no, here? No, no. What are I, what are castings? Castings basically worm poop. Ah, uh, worm poop. Worm poop. So we're looking at we're looking the black stuff here is worm poop. Is that what you're saying? That is well, that's uh, rotting or not rotting, but decomposing stuff. That's worm poop. Yes, I'm touching worm poop. Okay, so, so and the what is that kind of hairy stuff we're looking at? Um, that was the original bedding material, which is uh. Uh, ground up um, coconut husks. Um, it came with the bin that I got and uh, when I ordered uh, a pound of worms and put it in that was their initial bedding material. So and for a family of three how often do you have to maintain, maintain, uh, maintain it or I mean what's your what's your overall production in terms of uh, worm castings or material that you can use in your garden. Um, how, how many times a month or a week or a year do you get to use the materials that are produced by your buckets? Every month and a half or so I uh, pull out worm tea which is basically the um, nitrate juice that is generated down and held in this container and there's a handy little uh, nozzle there so you just fill up the tea and this is really good for fertilizing your uh, plants. Don't put it on straight, it's really concentrated. You want to dilute it out a lot. Uh, but it's all natural, right? But it's all natural. Um, you do that every couple months and then usually once or twice a year you actually get to harvest castings. Um, Twi which, once or twice a year? You, well, you get a lot. So when you, when you filled up this whole bin, you have several pounds of castings which is more than enough for someone's garden. So Interesting. For a personal garden of three or four people. Obviously, if you have more in your family, you're going to have more waste leftovers. The more waste leftovers, the more worms make baby worms. And the more worms you have, the more worms you have, the more they eat, and the process goes faster. Understood. So um, do you remember how much you paid for this? Uh, the bin was $35 and the worms were $25. You paid $25 for a pound of worms? Yeah. Could I just go down to the fish bait store and buy the same? You, you're going to get this little thing that's uh, about this big with about 15 or 20 worms in it. 
and it's going to cost you two, three bucks. Ah. So if you go to a... But I could also just get them out of my own garden if I have worms. There's actually a specific type of worm that's better. I believe it's the red worm. Um, if you find... There's a lot of people in Southern California that do casting, so if you can find one of them, call them up. Um, buy worms. Buy a pound of worms. It's 20 bucks, and then $5 shipping and handling, they overnight them to you. So... Um, in your green world, how uh, how green is this? Oh, I would say you can't get much greener than this. I would I would agree with you. you well, know, you're, you're prevent you're not putting stuff into the garbage heap. You're taking the food and uh, I use clippings from my garden um, plants. I pull out all sorts of stuff. I throw in there and I let them eat it. So if I don't, they do unless it's meat or dairy. So. Very interesting. Yeah. So, any final, any closing thoughts on um, on your on your worm factory? Um, worms are good. Worms are good. Worms are good. And you know what? If you want to go fishing, you already have your worms ready. Excellent. Well, thank you, uh, thank you for your time and uh, for sharing your worm factory with us. Ah, you're welcome.